to prevent a snapped or broken screw head or damaged worn no drive you should always pilot a hole especially into hardwood piloting the hole will do two things it will give you a precise position for the screw and also will put a lot less stress when you're driving it it won't damage the head or snap the hole what you've drilled will also help stop the cells closing in around that screw because that's pretty much similar how a nail works drive a nail in over time the cells tighten up around that uh, nail driving a screw into the hardwood especially will create heat so expanding the metal slightly making it harder to drive in so again putting more force and creating something like this if it goes in okay again over time it could be tougher to come out this may happen even this just about the least amount of force applied around here that's still going to grip no worries there so how would you get something like this out first one this one is slightly proud so I can get some pliers on it but it may just spin might not come out so the file I want to flatten off two edges so once those edges are flattened off that'll be a lot easier to come out after a bit of winding it will eventually come okay light sand and a fill that's okay that one a bit more difficult now with the fine wood bit I need to create a series of holes around what is left of the screw only about a quarter of an inch deep as close as I can to it really going the holes I've created I'm now just linking them up going around the remainder of the screw just the last little bit to do there Clean that up a little bit. Cleared as much as I can from around using the blade. You can use a chisel. And now, along those pliers, I just want to make sure that's clear all the way round. I'm ready for the next stage. So once you're happy with that, I mean, it can be difficult to remove with the long nose pliers. I have a tendency to twist a bit. So now I can just open the chuck on the drill a bit. Make sure I've got over that, pushing quite firm. 
and now I can just tighten this up. Okay, and then gently Slither of oak, sharpened a bit to a point, into where the screw was sat. Okay, countersink. I can clean this up a little bit now. One seal wood filler. I can just fill this up. Now, if you weren't re drilling into this, then you could just fill over that. That wouldn't be a problem. You wouldn't need to fill that core. It's just a quicker way of filling the core where the screw was using the piece of wood. And then again, this one just fill it up. If the screw was countersunk and you had to take it out then you could just destroy the head of that screw just drill it out remove the whole thing leaving the stub again it'll be countersunk you might have to cut out a little bit more around the area and then you should be able to get your drill onto that and draw that out so, ready for sanding and this can be painted or drilled Jump the good one. 